Hi, this is Jonathan. How are you guys doing? If you all recollect, I did two videos of uh, two Bacchus guitars. Uh, one which is a Strat and the other is a Tally. These are the roasted maple versions of this. These are the BST2 and the BTE2 in roasted maple. <laughs>
thank Davis guitar especially Jenna for sending these guitars for review um, this is the BST2 this is the BTE2 both of them share almost the same uh, appointments um, they both have uh, rotomatic tuners all right both have roasted maple neck and roasted maple fretboard both have nickel frets both have 15 inch fret radius both have a uh, sort of like a tuss it could be an ABS, yeah, it could be an ABS nut, you know. And then, um, what do you have? Both have urethane finishes. And this is the off-white finish, right? Now, for the strap, the BST, you have a single, single humbucker. These are their in-house uh, pickups. Mm, okay, they're okay. I'm going to tell you uh, a little bit about the pickups and how it sounds like later. And their own in-house uh, built uh, tremolo system. Right, and you also have a five-way selector switch. 
uh, one volume in two tones. And you have the BTE, which uh, features a P90, which is also their, their in-house uh, pickups, a P90 and a Tally a single coil at the bridge and a sort of an ashtray uh, bridge over there with a with this three, uh, you know, saddles, right? Traditional style. Uh, Three-way switch, a volume and a tone. Again, nothing fancy, just a straightforward uh, tally. So how does this guitar sound? Um, let's go with the Strat first. The single calls are pretty nice, pretty sweet, um, as well as a humbucker. And I just find that the output is just a tad low. That's about it. Um, fretboard plays really comfortable. This is like a slim C shape, yeah. Um, guitar comes in with the intonation kind of well set up. Uh, you need to adjust the uh, the action a little bit. Um, apart from that, um, the tremolo was uh, set up as flush, so I kind of like uh, loosen the springs so that I can have it sort of a, a, a floated position. As for the tele version, I like the P90. It sounds really sweet, as well as the uh, single call uh, bridge pickup. Um, this guitar has no problem at all. Um, the intonation is really well set up. Uh, and the action, the action is pretty good too. And yeah, it's the same neck, so it's comfortable to play. I have no problem with this guitar. This guitar is really sweet. The only thing about the Strat is that uh, you have to kind of work your your nut uh, if you're going to have your tremolo um, floated. And the tuning will, uh, yeah, will fluctuate there and then, as like most guitars, you know. Guitars with floating bridge will need to be set up. This is, this is a, a, a no-brainer. I hope you guys understand. Now, if you have a problem with or the tuning and you don't play with the tremolo arm a lot and just um, flush it. I mean like had it flush like you know really set down uh, dead you know dead set so that it will not move at all and I am, I'm sure the tuning would just uh, be more stable. In any case it's always good to, uh, to do some work within that so that the strings would not get caught up you know. I, I do I do a lot of adjustment on my nuts um, on my <laughs> Sorry, I, I I do a lot of work on my guitar nuts to ensure tuning stability, right? Um, apart from that, yeah, the guitars are not really that heavy. I'm gonna put the weight down uh, for both guitars, and I'm gonna put the price down too. These guitars are so affordable, so I think it's a great guitar to uh, to have and to mod if you need to. But for the tally, I don't think you have anything to mod because I like, like I said, I like the P90s. Uh, if you find that the pickups on the Strat. Uh, it's a bit too low output for your taste, and you can always swap them out. And um, yeah, you can do a whole lot of stuff with it because it's, it's so affordable, right? So if you're in Singapore, these guitars are available in Davis uh, at Davis Guitar, and uh, yeah, check them out, right? So let me know what you think about these guitars, and uh, leave a comment in the comment section down below. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. Well, in this case, give me two thumbs up and uh, join this channel and uh, press that bell to be notified of future videos and be part of the patrons to support this page uh, i want to thank each and every one of them for the kind support also um i had a bit of a uh, side effect again uh this for the some, some second dose of the vaccination and this time it was it was really easy because uh, it took me about a day and i got over the, the chills and and um what do i have well, slight kick on my on, on my on my right arm because of where the injection was at, and uh, no um, muscle ache the rest of the body, so it was pretty cool. You know, not like the first time, right? So if you guys have the chance, get yourself vaccinated, and I'll see you again. Stay safe. Take care. Arrivederci. Ciao.